What's up guys, Matt from the Football Boost team and what we've got for you guys today is something a little bit different. We're going to be showing you 10 simple speed hacks to make you quicker and give you better acceleration. So let's go. Hack number one, and to be fair, this is probably the most simple of all of the hacks we're going to be showing you today, and that is wearing lighter football boots. Now, wearing lighter football boots in general can make you 1% quicker. Studies have shown that 100 grams difference on each foot can make 1% difference. So if you are someone at the very top of the game like Ronaldo, that could make all the difference. Now, when we look at some of the lightest weight boots on the market, of course, we've got the Puma Evo Speed SL, incredibly lightweight. We've also got the Nike Recruit Vapor 11, again, a very lightweight boot. I think to class a boot as lightweight, it has to be under about 180 grams. And trust me, comparing these to the old school T90 lasers, by Nike, massive difference. So although they might make a little difference on your feet, they might make a big difference in your head. How many times have you guys heard the word lockdown used on football boots over the last couple of years? Now there's actually a really good reason for this because it's very important. Lockdown affects responsiveness and in turn, responsiveness affects how quick you can actually move around the pitch. Lockdown comes from the boot feeling very tight and wrapped around the foot. And when I think about the boots in the market which do this the best, you have to go to Nike football boots because of their flywire cables. On the Superfly, it's either side which merge the laces to the sole plate and that's exactly the same on the Hyven of Phantom 3. This time it's actually got exposed lacing hoops so I think you can pull these even tighter to give you a more wrap sensation. But alongside Nike, we've also got Adidas with their new Nemesis 360 Agility Bandage, does exactly the same type of thing, wraps around your foot nice and tightly to give you lockdown, to give you responsiveness, to make you faster. Next hack, let's talk about stud configurations because that affects traction. Now traction is so important to how fast you move around the pitch because traction is essentially grip. Now when you really want the best level of traction you can on a full boot, you really have to go for a bladed type of stud configuration. The perfect example is on the Nike Mercurial boots, the Superfly 5 and also the Vapor 11. We've got those chevron shaped studs all across the boot and trust me, I have never felt any more traction compared to these boots right here. You can also go for an Adidas model which come with these half teardrop shaped studs like on the Nemesis and also on the Pure Speeds. But you could also get some conical shaped ones. Although they won't give you the best traction, they will be more comfortable underfoot. But if you want the highest level traction to make you a bit quicker, give you better acceleration, you have to go for bladed studs. This next one, I know it's controversial. There's probably going to be so many of you guys digging me out for saying this but if you really are interested in making yourself a little bit quicker what you guys can do if you plan AG pitches like this one quite regularly you can opt to choose an FG sole plate with a bladed stud configuration now we've mentioned it already about traction if you want the highest level of traction which is going to make you move a little bit quicker then you can opt to choose bladed studs on a 3G pitch little disclaimer if you do wear FG boots on a 3G pitch and you get injured don't come for our heads guys one speed hack that you simply can't buy is how hard you actually work in training now, if you truly want to become quicker, you can't be doing what I'm doing now and sitting on my bum. You have to work hard in training and one of the best types of training methods you can do are speed resistance parachutes. Now it's pre-season time at the moment so you might see a lot of pros out there who have actually got those parachutes on their back. So what you do, you sprint with them on and it gives you a little bit of resistance, making your legs really powerful. So if you can get your hands on a speed parachute, this is going to be a great addition to your training program. This next hack is going to be for all those boot nerds out there who want every piece of technology made available on a pair of football boots. Now Storelli have just released a new product called the Speed Grip Insoles and what they essentially are, are their own version of a sock liner. Now what you need to do is take out the original ones that came on your pair of boots, cut these out to the size because they come available in small, medium and large, and once they're inside the boot, you feel very, very grippy, snug, locked down, responsive inside the boot itself, which is going to aid how quick you feel around the pitch. Now once you put them in, this is how they look, so they've got that heel tab as well, just to make there's no heel slippage whatsoever. Now what Storelli say is that 90% of the athletes they tested feel fast on speed grip. Now I think that's probably the case. Although they might not make you faster, they might make you feel a little bit quicker. We've mentioned it already, if you guys want to become quicker and more powerful, you're going to have to train hard. Now, one of the best exercises that you guys can do, which a lot of professionals do, is squats. You can just squat by yourself, no weights, or you can use a bar as well to increase the weight to make your legs stronger, which will make you quicker and more powerful. I can promise you that if you keep doing your squats, one day you can play like Lukaku. This next hack came from one of my favourite stories of all time and it's the story of Cristiano Ronaldo. Now when he was back at Man United, his teammate Rio Ferdinand said that he used to train with ankle weights around his legs which made his legs feel very heavy when doing his sprint training and also any skills like step overs. Oh, he does step overs, he used to put these mad things on his feet, these weights and do mad step overs. I used to think, are you mad? What are you doing? Until he started bamboozling people. 
Now, what this does is make your legs stronger in the future, but also when you take those ankle weights off, your legs would feel so incredibly lightweight, you would feel you could run fast and also do those skills so much more easier. One hack that you can't buy but you can definitely work on is your running technique. Now when I think of some of the fastest players in world football, I think of CR7, Gareth Bale and Iron Robin. Now they're all so electric quick and they all share some very similar running techniques. Now first off, they're going to use their toes a lot more compared to the rest of the foot to sprint. Secondly, they're going to use their arms to really power through and thirdly, they're going to lean slightly forward. So those three types of techniques are ones that you could use in your training to then use in your matches. I can almost guarantee that so many of you guys before kickoff have a load of water or smash down an energy drink just before kickoff. But what really is the best drink that you guys can buy to help performance? Well, it's not water and it's not energy drinks. The best thing that you can drink is caffeine. Now, I know that might sound a little bit controversial and you probably shouldn't do it if you're too young, but if you do want the best performance, then you want to drink a caffeine-based drink about an hour before kickoff. So not right before, not early in the morning, but one hour before kickoff. And it is scientifically proven to give you a slight edge over opponents. So guys, that's about it. Our top 10 simple hacks to make you quicker and give you better acceleration. But in the comment section below, what I want you to tell me is what are the speed hacks that you've personally tried yourself? And also from R10, what are gonna be the ones that you're gonna try in the future? But guys, that is today's video all wrapped up for you. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.